Has there ever been a moment in your life where you're just like, wow, I didn't expect that? Or you thought about something and then all of a sudden it happens and like that day or the next day, you know, those are like synchronicities, right? Yeah. Or like your friend calls you and you were like, I was just going to call you. So <laughs> yeah, those are, those are little synchronicities in your life. And so that's, that's our topic today is synchronicities. Um, we're going to talk more on like a larger scale of synchronicities and how when you become more in tune with the universe, the universe listens and it, it synchronizes things for you in your life. So. Yeah, well, let's just jump into that. So a phrase you could say is being in flow, right? Uh -huh. Getting yourself energetically in a state of flow so that the synchronicities flow to you. Mm -hmm. um, and how would you do that? How would you describe being in flow? In flow? <laughs> Go with the flow. <laughs> Go with the well, flow. Well, no, I guess that's that's like a, a control thing. Like if you're always trying to control everything in your life, you know, you're like, I want to get this promotion and I've I've got to do A, B, and C to get this. And you know, you're you're that's not flowing. If you're just kind of being more present and just like, okay, whatever happens, happens. Um, then I think you're more in flow. Um, I know at the end of some of the meditations, we are guided to put a sign or a request out to the universe mm -hmm. to be like, okay, if I truly touch source, if universe really heard me, give me this sign. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a synchronicity. It is. And, and I get those every once in a while. Like I remember one time that I was, I, I thought of like a purple dragon for some reason. And then all of a sudden, a couple hours later, the kids are watching something on TV <laughs> and I'm like, there's a purple dragon. And then there was another time that um, it was a blue butterfly and I was talking to this lady at the shop and she all of a sudden just goes oh, a blue butterfly and it was like right behind my head and I looked at her and she thought I was crazy I was like what did you say and she was like a blue butterfly she's like there's a, a <laughs> wallet with a blue butterfly because that was the sign I was looking for and so I was like what the heck it was like it came out of nowhere so and that's a good time to jump in and say why are synchronicities there and I would say mm -hmm. it's to show us that we're on the right path yeah that, that you know, you, we're, we're in the right direction of things the, the universe uh, some of you may not believe in that that the universe is truly listening whatever you send out to the universe it hears you and the universe sends back these signs just like when you think of your friend and they call it's because you're energetically connected you're set telepathically sending something out Oh, I'm thinking of, or maybe you thought of them because they thought of you first. There's some kind Everything of a connection. Is energy, right? It That's is. what we've been learning. That's what a, so many different people across the board are now coming to the realization. Quantum physicists, um, all, all different facets of science mm -hmm. are coming to this realization that everything is energy. Yeah. And so if we are energy, that other person is energy, then it's not beyond question that we could connect energetically, mm -hmm. which surpasses all other forms of limitation. Mm -hmm. That's like the quantum entanglement thing quantum about that. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's talk on the scale of larger synchronicities, okay? So not the parking spot? <laughs> <laughs> That's more of like a manifestation. So, well, I guess it is a synchronicity. Wow, I was just thinking of a parking spot and there's one, you know? And I think the more you get in tune with the universe, the more you will see. You will see them happen more frequency, for more frequent. And like the angel numbers, you're thinking of something and all of a sudden you keep seeing fives or you keep seeing twos or you keep seeing ones. There's a synchronicity that they're, they're trying to show you a sign in some other way besides like somebody was pointing out a blue butterfly because you were thinking about it. Oh, so but, let, let's play the person who says, well, how do you know that's a synchronicity? It's like, well, you it's just annoying. know. It's annoying because just, it, just like me, when I looked at that lady, like, what did you just say? Like, why, why did she randomly just point to a blue butterfly? And it was, she's like, I don't know. She so just, the key here is don't walk around your life being like, oh, is that a synchronicity? Oh, is that yeah, a synchronicity? Oh, yeah, and when you're looking for them, when you're looking for them, they are not going to come. <laughs> yeah, you don't look for it, okay? So let's, let's talk in the way of um, like larger synchronicity. So for example, I, I've been trying to manifest something and like all of a sudden this lady out of nowhere just says, for some reason I feel I need to mention this. And I'm like, what? How, how did she know that that was something that I'm trying to manifest? And I hadn't thought about it in a year. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> recently I started thinking about it again. And she emails me like, I haven't talked to you in a while. How's that thing going? And I'm like, Funny thing that you just mentioned that because I had kind of put it off for a year and now I'm thinking about it guys like she knew this you know, she was just a really random lady that yeah. had had called me not or random. emailed me no not it wasn't random. and that's what you think <laughs> it's random or it's a coincidence and 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 when yeah. you say it's a coincidence I don't believe in coincidences things happen for a reason mm -hmm. and that's that's a big thing if you're like man it's a coincidence man it's a coincidence man it's a coincidence if you keep seeing coincidences 
they're not coincidences. They were happening okay, to so you for a reason. Okay, so here's another one. How many times have you told me, Kyle, I've told you this, Kyle, I've told you that, and it takes me five different people that come up to yeah. me at different times, and not random, right, but they seem random, um, you know, different modalities that I should go down and different paths, and it's like, after I've heard it five times, I'm like, oh, and that's a form of a synchronicity, it too. It is, too. Like, if, 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 you know, your significant other or a friend has told you, you need to do this, or there's something this about you that you need to change, which you don't like to hear those anyway, but you may hear it from another person. And then another person, and then another, and you're like, what? <laughs> All of a sudden, bells go off in my head. Yeah. Uh, how many more times do I have to hear this before I'm going to do it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, it, and that's the point of awakening to the synchronicity. And, and it, it's in a way, it's kind of um, a law of attraction, manifesting things because when you're thinking things, they they happen for you, you know. And um, what is that one phrase? If you don't believe it, then it's not real for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, and then there's also people that come and go in your lives. There's a lot of that where, you know, you have people around to help you at some point in your life and then all of a sudden they're not around anymore. And uh, many of you watching have gone to these Dispenza events. And if you have, you notice how there's like 2,000 people at these events. But for some reason, you keep running into like the same 10 people. It's like you turn the corner and they're, oh, they, hey, I was just thinking about, oh, wow, you again, you again, you again. Okay. And then, but then we've done that before where like we have, I guess, friends and we may run into them constantly at one event. And the next event, we're like, I didn't even know you were here. You know, I never saw you. But I feel that it's on that part in your journey or that part of their journey that you guys needed to intermingle for some reason or another. So it's interesting how the universe orchestrates different things. I mean, I know you've got that story about the rose or whatever, you know, remember in, in Cancun, you found that rose on the ground and you studied. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, there's two stories I want to share about the most recent Cancun retreat. So there was a, I was walking back to my room and one night before the event even started and there was this rose on the sidewalk. And as I was walking up, I saw it from afar I thought, what is that? And I got closer. I'm like, oh, that's a rose. And for, you know, I don't normally do this, right? I'm normally just like, Shh, A to B, got to get where I got to go, blah, blah, blah. And at this moment, I guess I was just more present than usual. And I stopped and I looked at it and I just stared at it. And there was a message that came to me, just, just to stare at this for a few more seconds. And so I stood there, looked at it. And then I was like, should I pick it up or should I leave it? You know, and the, the, the message to me was pick it up. So I picked it up. I looked at it I'm like, oh, darn, it's fake. I thought it would be real. I wanted to smell it. And so I just looked at it a little bit. I'm like, okay, well, what do I do with this? I didn't feel right taking it. Didn't feel right putting it down on the ground again. So I just slid it into this little sign um, next to the sidewalk that was telling you what rooms were ahead or whatever. So I just slid it in there. And then I kept walking towards my room. And as I was just about to turn and go up the steps to get to my third floor um, of where my room was, this man comes around the corner and he had a, a, a shirt on that I knew he was a Dispenza, um, you know, person. He'd been to a previous retreat and so I just yelled down the hall, I'm like, hey, nice shirt, man, because I had the same shirt. And uh, the guy was like, oh yeah, thanks. And he comes walking up and we end up having this profound conversation for almost 30 minutes. And I, I realized afterwards, had I not stopped to, to look at that rose on the ground, then we would have our paths would have missed each other by just a mere minute or two. And so to me, that was a big synchronicity and the universe had orchestrated that whole thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I wanted to mention was, um, you know, how we had, had crossed paths with that man that we had met at a different, a different retreat. Mm -hmm. And, um, just, you know, I, I, I don't know, not to get into too many details, but we had crossed paths again and, we had exchanged some hugs and talked a little bit. And then out of that came a whole other set of circumstances. Yeah, like and a bunch of knowledge that we kind of downloaded a bunch of from what yeah. that interaction. Yeah. And, I, and I, I kept looking at you and I'm like, holy crap. It was just like all this stuff just kept coming in. And I just felt compelled to keep telling you. Yeah, it and then you were with me. checking yeah. it with your heart and it was resonating. And it was like, wow. And, you know, I think the message that I want to share out of this is just being open to the synchronicity. Don't go around searching for it mm -hmm. and don't question everything as a synchronicity. You will know. It's just this inherent knowing inside of you. Oh, when I saw that rose on the ground, I just, the first thought I had was, oh, some girl, there was a wedding going on earlier that night. It must have fallen off of some girl's dress, whatever. 
and and then it was just like, oh wait a minute, I had this 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 secondary thought that felt different than the first. Stop, you know, look at this, and I listened to that, and I think that's that's key is that there's gentle nudgings all the time mm -hmm. that we actually ignore. Mm -hmm. And that's sad because those gentle nudgings are trying to show us possible synchronicities, trying to show us possible paths that we should take in our life, lessons, to show knowledge. us lessons, knowledge, mm -hmm. um, changes we should make in, our, in, our, in ourselves or in our lives. And, and as we listen to each one of those little nudges, then the synchronicities become more apparent to us. Mm -hmm. the, synchro the synchronicities mean more to us and the synchronicities get bigger. Yeah, well, you know? going back to that man, you said that we, we gained all this knowledge and insight from our interaction with him. So we go about, you know, it's, I don't know, what, three hours later or something, we go to our room, we get ready to check out, and there's we're coming down this path that intersects with this other path. Well, right as we start- so hang on, I was talking about how synchronistic that event, that event was. earlier. And you go, oh, look. look <laughs> and as we come up right there at the corner of that path, we, inter we intersect again. that guy again. And we're like, what the heck? What are the odds of that? You know, it's one of those aha moments. And, um, you know, there was another one. Now, now some of those, you can understand. It's like, okay, you can kind of almost see like, like we're puppets and it's like the universe is like okay like let's let's put this obstacle here and let's make them turn this corner and make this you know it's like they're kind of doing this so that's that's like present moment but there was one huge um synchronistic thing that happened to us that is hard but if you understand that we exist every time exists at the same moment like time doesn't really exist but every every moment in time exists at the same moment so when we went to um our first event in cancun um, there was an astrological event. It was um, cer some certain planets had aligned, and um, I think it was four or five planets. Yeah, four or five of planets. Not not literal aligned, but in the skyline, they were right there. And that that was actually the walking meditation where I healed myself. I I saw them all lined up there with the moon. It was so cool, and we had. Um, gone to lunch late, or later that day and this lady was saying oh yeah that that astrological event doesn't happen that often it happened 18 years ago and she said but it wasn't in june it was in april and my husband and i looked at each other we were like what because the synchronicity of that is that 18 years ago in april when that event happened is when we had honeymooned in cancun at that resort right next to the Barcelo where the event was happening. So we were in the exact same place in time when that astrological event happened 18 years ago and then 18 years to that day we were in the exact same spot. That that's that like that's out. like mind blowing. Like how how did the universe like bring two events at two moments in time to happen? It just, it is, it's and mind it's, blowing. And it's and it's, it's not, hard to understand. It's not just the astrological event that's cool in itself. It's that it happened at the moment where we are finally awakening to this, there's something more. Yeah. And we're at this event trying to find what is that something yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to improve ourselves. And in just a couple of weeks ago, we were on that same beach looking up at the stars at night remembering this particular synchronicity and contemplating all that had to come together to, to bring us there. I have a story to tell you actually <laughs> when you're talking about that because remember when we were on the beach and we were looking at some planets and we were looking at Orion's belt yeah. and we were looking at different things. That lady I told you about that's trying to like she like I was man trying to manifest something and she contacted me recently. She's like I don't know why, but there's something I feel I need to tell you. I've been having these dreams about Orion's belt. Does that ring a bell with you? And I'm like, wow, wow, that's news to me. That is news to you. I just found that out a little bit earlier. And I'm like, interesting, because we were looking at like what planets make up Orion. I'm like, uh -huh. hmm, okay. So, yeah. so <laughs> it's, appe it's appealing to me right now to mention that when you talk about synchronicities, I think it's, it's clear to say you can't make this stuff up yeah when when you're having moments like that where you're just like dude you can't write this you can't make this up that is the universe orchestrating and the synchronicities are playing into all of that so you you have major events and small events Little are events, yeah. all, all across the spectrum of size of events those are actual events synchronicities to me are the sparkle behind the firework mm -hmm. it's it's the evidence that's leading you 
in the path and it's making you aware that something's happening something's moving the energy the flow and and i think as you become more in tune with that flow the synchronicities mean more to you mm -hmm. the synchronicities happen more often mm -hmm. and i and i could say that at some point you kind of get to a point where you're wondering when the next synchronicity yeah, is you're just happen. like oh okay another synchronicity cool <laughs> cool you know at first you're like whoa and then uh, you know and you're still going to get mind blown at other points in time you know you're going to get those little synchronicities not like it's going to get boring but then you're you're just going to be like Wow, you know, I, I wish I had known this knowledge earlier. You know, you can reflect back when you were younger and be like, man, I used to think of the songs before they came on the radio and I know my friend was coming around the corner and, you know, just like all these little things that happen when you're younger and you're like, man, I wish I had all this knowledge when I was younger, but it's it's okay, just that's in the past. Right now you have that knowledge. Yeah, just be aware. Moment. Just be aware now when you you have a coincidence happen in your life. It's not It's not an accident. It, it's 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 a universe it's on purpose and it's it's cool it is cool it's coming to me right now to share this um on a high level that everything is energy everything has a frequency and when you meditate you're trying to tune into those frequencies mm -hmm. and then you try to draw that back to you with your heart right so it would be I think correct to say that that action is a synchronizing action. Mm -hmm. You're synchronizing your frequency mm -hmm. to the frequency of something out there that you want to attract to you. Orchestrating things, so like when, an orchestra in tune. Yeah. So when you talk about synchronicities, I think that's evidence that you are, in fact, synchronizing your frequency to the frequency of what you're trying to attract to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that, that just came to me like, wow, that, that's actually a pretty cool it way is. to look at it. It is, yeah. You, yeah. Know? you attract whatever you vibrate. It, it goes back to the law of attraction. You you give out negative vibes, you get negative vibes back. But This yeah. morning I watched a video of Wayne Dyer. Um, would have loved to have met that man. Um, he's now on to new journeys, right? But um, he, in this video, he said... I believe that we do not attract what we want, we attract what we are. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. So again, synchronicities is a form of proof that we are synchronizing ourselves to what we're trying to become. That's interesting because they say you are the company you keep and you could say, oh, those people are hanging out with bad people, they're a bad influence on them. Well, is that true or is it that that's what you're radiating out and those are the people you're attracting? You know, you can look on that and reflect on things in your life and you're like, okay, well, you know, I'm attracting these things to me in a certain way. Synchronicities are happening. You can even say synchronicities, we're looking, we're talking about synchronicities in a good way, but you could also have synchronicities almost in a bad way. Like, why does this thing keep happening to me? Why does this thing keep happening to me? Because you're sending out that signal. It's more fun to talk about the good it ones. It is, it's, it is. And those are the ones that are more like, wow, yeah. But if you're, you're like, well, I'm not getting synchronicities, why not? Reflect on it more and see, you know, are you getting synchronicities or not? Are you, are you reflecting? Is your world, you, it is a self-reflective universe. You are, whatever you feel inside is what you are attracting. Well, that's what I said. If you don't believe it, then it's not real to you, yeah. right? Yeah. There was a lady sitting across the table from us. We went to a dispensa meetup, a lot of beautiful souls there. And, you know, I'm always excited when we go to those to just see randomly who we sit with, you mm -hmm. know? And uh, we sat down and, and we're sitting with these different folks and this one particular lady, we'd gotten on the topic of synchronicities and this one lady was like, I just haven't had any synchronicities. Mm -hmm. And I looked at her and I kind of smiled and I said, um, are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, us just sitting here right yeah. now is a synchronicity if you yeah. can see it that way. Yeah. And she was like, huh, interesting. And, and I think that really kind of started to open her mind to what are synchronicities yeah. and you know, I think if we start to judge things or premeditate or going back to what we talked about in the last video as far as expectations, you know, that in itself, I think, kills or squashes mm -hmm. the possibility for synchronicities. Mm -hmm. Synchronicities happen when we're just open and in flow like yeah. we already talked about. And yeah. go back to what I think is a really good definition. Synchronicities happen when we are successfully synchronizing ourselves to a particular set of frequencies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I was going to go back that lady you were talking about because she had said she had gone to the Orlando event and almost first thing she said to you was, oh, 
I sat by you in Orlando. There's a synchronicity right there. She sat by him in Orlando, <laughs> and here we are at and, a local meetup. And, and her husband. And she's sitting right across. And her husband. Her husband shows up, and, and he's, he's an in engineer. The, he's I'm in an the engineer. Thing, he's in the same contracting mm-hmm. line yeah, of work. Yeah, a lot I'm of synchronicity. In, I, was like, so. I was like, and I, and I even told her, I'm kind of excited to see who this mystery person is that's going to sit next to you, because who knows? I said, that could be a synchronicity, too. And then look at it. Yeah, he has the same <laughs> career path as you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So it, like it's I said, cool. reflect can't, on it if you, yeah, yeah, you can't make this stuff up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is good for now. We love you guys and happy synchronizing. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs>